here in San Francisco and the Bay Area, it's foggy. Yesterday it didn't get very nice, it was in the 60s. Winter is fast approaching. This is our rainiest month, December, here in California. Not a drop yet. People are very concerned. Lots of drought going on. We'll look at that in the uh, upcoming drought monitor update next couple days or so. But what I really wanted to talk to you guys about was the situation with the temperature, just the temperatures here in the U.S. for a study. A new study has said that the planet has been getting hotter every year. Here in the U.S., some regions are just one or two degrees warmer than 50 years ago, and some are as high as 7.5 degrees warmer than they were 50 years ago. Let's look at the map here. As you can see, north, I guess the northwest should be the northeast. The northeast is the warmest area that's been warming, has the warmest winters going on. This is a winter temperature map. The west coast is the coolest. Now this is a really interesting study because here on the west coast we thought we were the ones that were warming up because of all the fires and the hot days and the uh, humidity going down more and more, uh, more, more dry, hot, dry days, sort of like uh, desert. But yet it only shows that the Bay Area is only one to two degrees warmer in winter time. 250 cities saw an increase in average winter temperatures since 1970. So as so many scientists are saying, we're slowly cooking ourselves in a pan. The, the, the burner's on low, but it's going, it's notching up and up every year, just a little bit. And sooner than later, we're going to end up being too hot. And we're going to meet that spot where the humidity and the temperature cross, where life doesn't like to live there. It's too warm and muggy there. Go into a sauna and just sit there for a long time. You'll see what I mean. It's very hard to live in that kind of environment. But that is what we're doing to ourselves. We're doing it slow enough to where humans don't notice it. And they're just ignoring the science on it. You know, there's this whole group around the whole planet now that's anti-science, anti-vaccine, anti-anti, and are completely involved with conspiracies. And this group is really tearing the planet apart. We can't get our the COVID uh, pandemic under control because of these people. And then they get COVID and they're rushed to the hospital and now on their dying day, they say, oh, you should have should have listened to them, you should have listened to them. Hello, the science was correct on COVID. And the vaccine, I've had three of them. I've had no side effects whatsoever. And so we have to believe in the science that's telling us that the planet is getting too warm. And we have to pay attention to that. And we need to have leaders who are going to do something about that. If we ignore this, people, it's going to sneak up on you. You think uh, this, these last couple of years have been hot. Every year from here on out for the rest of our lives, it's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. And we better do something about that, huh? Listen, I appreciate the ups, the downs, the new subscribers, and definitely your comments. I always read the comments. It's part of the video, I consider, that uh, so many people will put in more information than I put in. I like that. That's good. The more information out there, the better. And until next time.